I um I might just jump entirely straight into the game. Um no real plan. I think I'd like to get somewhere. Somewhere would be cool. Anyways, um, bad chief. Continue, please. Dog walk in here, but he obviously immediately walked straight back out. Cool. Uh, no messages, no materials. Nothing dramatically different has happened. Fantastic. Um, I don't really remember what, in fact, I was doing. I think I just need to go down to the dungeon and, like, do some dungeon, if you will. Uh, we'll start off with seven, I guess. Uh, okay, cool. Going down. Start off with seven. We'll give seven some love. Um, because, you know. Seven is one of the best. This is a pretty weird hobby when you think about it. Ripley, not right now, please. I'm flooding with swords. Ripley. Ripley. Don't make me close the door. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said I'd close the door. Don't think I won't. Uh, I remember this mall. I've been here before. Mm. Been living in Seoul since I was eight, but I have still have some memories. Growing up in BB, the, this fountain was my favorite. I didn't have any money to shop with, but I would take off my shoes and play. I miss that, just being a kid, you know? Not worrying about how you look. I guess that's so stupid to think about, you can never go back. Uh, take off your shoes. Play. Huh? Splashing with the water. Stop. Thanks, I appreciate the sentiment, but not right now. Seven, that's lame. What gifts do I have? Lots of food. Okay. Uh, yeah. Which is something Seven uh, can't have. If I give Seven food, he'll be like, oh, absolutely not. No can do, Chief. Cufflinks. Oh, um, that'd be good for. Fuck, what's his name? Isaac. That'd be good for Isaac. Sure, I am yet to give Isaac a gift, but. money you know sometimes i just like stuff that isn't uh money sometimes i just want like materials or uh crafty things that's the word i wasn't looking for but it's the word we got just like everybody around me makes everybody sleep what okay that's neat that's pretty neat put them all asleep so i can 
hawk him up. I will take a vault. Business suit. Dude, hell yeah. I do so much business and stuff. I do so much business things with the business. In, in, in business. I've been there. I want to go down here. I fing. Well, doesn't Seven say that like these are trash? Yeah, weren't, aren't worth the money or time. Uh, uh let's yeah. destroy them. Oh, there is a spider crawling on my knee. I think we're good. Hey Rip. Thank you for your help. I already got the spider, sweetheart. Uh Ripley, ladies and gents. There he is. Shit. Say hi, Rip. Good boy. Oh dude, no one caught Anarith. Rude. He protect. He really do. He was a little slow. But he tried his hardest. And I'll, I'll give him that, at least. Uh, Seven Winds is stifling a shout. It seems he's hurt his foot. Would you like to offer a gift? You want vodka for your foot, I guess? Wait, I'm an idiot. There's a better way to destroy things. <laughs> yeah, there we go. See, Beaver? Nuh-uh. Uh, that'd be selfish with me. I can spend my energy in other ways, I guess. Whatever. Uh, but... Let's just, just destroy the things. Seven. Ripley, not right now. You know, here's the thing. Chat, you always say how you want like a Ripley cam, but he would need like a full on fucking GoPro. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm talking to you. What are you doing? The way Ripley just paces constantly. Like, you need a constant GoPro on this dog. Ripley can be... Ripley camp can be a GoPro. Listen. If I could figure out how it worked... Hell yeah. But let's be real, being a male dog, uh, you would see him licking his crotch a lot because dogs. Hmm. And I feel like that would be, uh, in, in fact, unpleasant. Uh, yeah. Cheer me on. We have support. You always do great, though. Hey. Uh, eventually, you step off the ice and seven claps appreciatively. I guess we're done here, then. I still don't have a gift for you, seven. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ripley, honey, I have nothing for you either. Excuse me? And him so we can see the world from his point of view. Do you imagine Ripley's, like, point of view, though? It would be a lot of chasing the cat and, like, being yelled at for chasing the cat. What are you doing? Chat, give me a sec. People will start thinking you're doing hack smack. Imagine that. Imagine someone turns around, they're like, they're hacking. But in reality, you're just a god. Imagine 
imagine knowing how to play video games in 2022. I'm back. I've returned. Dog was being very needy. And I was going uh, crazy. Love that dog, love him bits, but he's just. He's so needy! Like, he might need to go outside, but that's his father's job right now. I am playing the video games. change weapon actually to Rowan. Adaptive, nurturing, comforting, and the mother of life. It's very colonial to capture and dominate the seas into, into a domestic little fountain. Mm. Uh, is it really better to have this pathetic echo than nothing at all? Uh, it's a compromise. I suppose you're right, a garden is not a forest, but it has its charms. One day, humanity may find it, uh, it is domesticated and will not be so comfortable. Okay, Rowan. Okay, buddy. Listen, love Rowan a bits, right? What the fuck? She's gonna chill out for a minute. Seven, you are sending me lots of text messages right now, but I cannot respond. I am indeed uh, about to go into a boss battle. With Bug. Oh, the sounds for it is just... Bug is dead. Bug is dead. Bug no longer live. Hell yeah. No more bug. No more bug. Gonna battle the bug again. <laughs> Ew, thank god. No more bug. Oh shit, new sword though. Uh, chip pole arm is unweirdly in your hands. As you touch it, it transforms. Oh, is this... This is Sawyer? Is that their name? Or well, I'm like, you're literally a child and I feel like we could oh, only whoa, be friends. Careful. Hi, yeah. I'm 
square. Sorry I'm a little long. I don't mean to be awkward to wield. Actually, I didn't mean to be down here at all. My memory's fuzzy, and my head hurts like crazy. I feel See back like so isn't good. Missing? It's weird. Huh. I guess I should go to the hospital and call my mom. Or my blacksmith. Hmm. Where's the blacksmith? But all that has to wait because I'm late to history class. Oh, tardy! My professor's gonna dock me points for sure. Uh, kid, listen, hear me out. Uh, you've probably missed a lot of classes. Why now? Um, maybe I can buy you lunch. To say you thanks. won't. Here's my number. Bye for now. Bye. They, they don't. They don't buy me lunch. I, in fact, buy them lunch. <laughs> but it's cool. <laughs> That is a child, yes. That's what I mean. You can either romance Sawyer or you can just be friends with Sawyer. And it's like, hey, I'm gonna just be friends. Uh... Here's the thing. You can totally ignore Eric. Apparently you can like just ghost Eric after the date. I had no idea. I love that idea, first of all, but yeah, I had no idea that you could just ghost Eric. Oh, it looks like there's another dungeon under the little roaster. That idiot son will probably get himself killed down there. Can you ghost him now? I mean, I think whenever you get text messages from him, you can just like not respond. I don't know what happens because I've never done it before, but yeah. Uh, hey, nice my <laughs> nice meeting you. I only recently came out as non-binary, um, pl but please use they them. Anyway, I don't know if you're free, but I could buy you breakfast or lunch. It kicks. It's my favorite place. Sure thing, kid. Perfect. See you there. Hey, mom. Hey, I keep seeing something called Blade Generation everywhere. All I know is it's really popular. Be my youth culture interpreter. What is it? This is some kind of sex thing. Don't tell me. Uh, it's a band. Blade Generation is a band, Mum. Oh, okay, well, if you find one of the, uh, find a CD of theirs, bring it home so I can listen. I don't want to fall completely out of touch, you know? Thanks, honey. No problem, Mum. Hey, Seven, how many? Oh, yeah, he gave me apples. Uh... Been cool going to the dunge, but not exactly cozy. I saw a poster for this cool show. Rhino side. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'd invite you over to watch TV, but my agent has this place bugged for sure. You want to come over? Cool, I'll be there soon. <gasps> yes. I <laughs> don't want to fall out of touch. Buy me a CD. Which is it? Listen. Let mum be confused on everything. <laughs> She's good at that. Have a few minutes before seven will be here. You're stu uh, struck by sudden anxiety. Your apartment feels suffocatingly dirty and boring. Call and cancel. Uh, tidy up. Do a bit of tidying and dusting, even though it's already pretty clean. You imagine the face of disgust or disappointment as your heart hammers in your chest. Everything goes dark. You feel a hand on your shoulder and you, hey, hey, it's okay. Breathe. Slowly, you take a shaky breath and open your eyes. Hey, I'm here. I have a glass of water for you. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh -uh. Don't apologize. I know it's embarrassing, but trust me. I don't judge. If anything, I'm sorry I caused it somehow. I don't want to make things harder for you. Uh, I know how it is to have issues. Not anxiety, exactly, but... I'm, uh, chronically depressed. At first, I thought it was the stress of Blade Generation. Uh, I'm sure Blade Generation doesn't make it easy, but depression is part of who I am. I'm mostly on top of it. Therapy, meds, routines, they help me manage. Uh, but if I seem cold sometimes, that's why. Old coping habits, mostly. It's telling me. It's harder now that Sung Woo is getting even closer to my territory, but... I was really glad you invited me over today. I've been stewing. I'm a designer glasses! Dude, you saw my TikTok profile picture? It's, it's pretty cool. It's... Pretty cool. Um, here you have these. A fashion designer sent me these for a sponsorship. They'd look better on you. 
Thanks. Sure, no problem. Hello, sir. What you doing? Okay. Ripley won his bone. Okay. Uh, as for tonight, there is a new season of a series I like to binge, Chronosite. It's won a bunch of awards. It's a detective mystery show set in the future. I brought cheesies and a snack too. I love Aww. snacks. Found your weak spot, huh? Mine too. You can have most of them. My agent will kill me if I overdo it anyway. Falls into your couch and you put on Chronosite. Seems, mo uh, seems to mostly take place in alleys at smoking vents at night. Uh, did they keep... Uh, fucking... Can't read. Uh, did you find your Apple Pencil? Nope. I drew on my fingers, and it turned out pretty good for drawing with my finger, I must say. It turned out really well. Uh, they keep hinting at the detective that tra can transform into a weapon. Not what kind. Do you have a way I step? Fate is, dete uh, uh, fate is waiting to trick me trip me up. I saw the word detective, and I had to put the word into everything. Uh, then maybe you should trip her first. Seven clunches on, uh, clunches. Ah! Seven munches on a cheesy. He glances at you side along. I'm gonna move closer. Drapes an arm over you comfortably without looking away from the screen. There's more than six bullet holes. Somehow she had time to reload. That's impossible. Yes. <laughs> Snuggling close, you can feel a tension tightening seven, uh, feel tension tightening seven's chest and arms. The detective assistant is short-lived and dies under any uh, under mysterious circumstances. Wait, play that recording again. The voice in the call is smoky and jazzy. You'll never take me alive, Cybercop. I am the Garot Garrett Garrett Garotte. And no, I am a whatever that is. What is that? What is it? What is it? I'm Googling it. The site can't be reached. Oh, because I fucking accidentally put a slash in there. Um. Kill someone by strangulation, especially a length of wire or cord. So he's... Like, wire? He transforms into wire? Is that what this is? I'm... I'm confused. Garrett? That's what I thought. Or Garrot? That's what I... Yeah. Uh, and there's only room for one in this town. Click back into the game, Maddie. He's a murderer. Okay, cool. Why is the detective a murderer? You were acutely aware of Seven's breathing next to you. Uh, stay tri strictly platonic. Just friends with all of the swords, actually. Not, not, not gonna try and fuck them this time. Uh, you taste soft skin with a hint of artificial cheese powder. Delicious. His breath catches at the touch of your lips, as if you, as if you'd burned him. He draws you closer. Show fades into the background noise without meaning or re relevance. Eventually, he pulls away, cheeks flushed, the chronosite credits are rolling. Interlace your fingers comfortably, trying to act casual. You enjoy the rest of the show together uh, until the credits roll. Would you like to offer a gift? I have nothing for you that you can have. I literally have shit for Sunder, Pocket, and Sawyer. Oh shit, you totally already fucked Sunder. Ah, ah, no. Hmm. Shut up. <laughs> you better try to fuck Seven. I'm always trying to fuck Seven. Seven's great. I really like you, but I, I should go uh... home. Why not stay? I don't want to move too fast. It's backfired on me before. I get hurt easily. My therapist says, uh, I mean, I think I should be careful. Please understand. I look forward to the next time. Look, I don't know how to say this, but I'm into you. 
Uh, I have big decisions coming up, and even just your friendship would mean a lot. I'ma kiss him again. Seven smiles into your lips and gently kisses you. Good night. He lets himself out. Mmm. <laughs> Still tastes like shit. Ugh. Hey, mum, what's up? So, what's like living? Uh, what's it like living life on the edge? You know, because swords and kissing them. Etc. Very funny, Mum. Do you like it when my words have a dual meaning? Huh? Get it? Yes, Mum. Aw, oh, come on. I'm being perfectly acceptable. Okay, I'm done for now. Mwahaha. <laughs> Mum's not done. Hey, Seven. Been thinking about you uh, a lot. Uh, Jesus. Been thinking about you all the time. You tell me if I get too clingy, right? I promise. Don't want to take your friendship for granted. Talk to you later, okay? I'm getting some weird vibes from my basement. I mean, my club's basement. It's would have been creepy, but this is different. I think I saw a monster down there. I'll check it out. Cool. Thanks. Oh, fuck. Shit. Fuck. Uh, it doesn't seem like the monsters will come upstairs, so we could just dance and ignore them, I guess. Let me know if you need someone to wield. Thanks, Sunder. Oh, wait, I could craft things. Hang on, take me back home. Cool. Uh, there's La Rosa. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go see Sawyer. I love Mum. She's beautiful. Mum's the best. You arrived to find Sawyer and Olivia oh. arguing. No more freebies. You haven't worked here for like a year. Come on, just one more measly sandwich. I owe a friend big time. Please, is your friend Squish by chance? How did you know? Hi. Oh, um, hi Squish. I'm just uh, paying oh. for us both. Chloe digs into their pockets for money, blushing. Here, I found this. How many of these can I give you? I held out five lumps of sugar in their palm. Uh, Olivia shakes her head. Sawyer seems slightly panicked. Okay. Uh -huh. I know, Squish. Put your money away, but Sawyer, I swear to all of the gods, this is the last time, okay? Yeah. You bet. Thanks. You, you, you're you the best, Livy. Yeah, I am. Sit at a table. Uh, it doesn't look like Sawyer has anything to eat. No. Want to split this? I'm fine. Don't worry about it. As you eat, you see their eyes tracking your sandwich carefully, unable to stop staring. I know, don't slow down. Sorry, let's talk about something else. Um, swallow hard and avert their eyes. Just have some. A more forceful inv uh, invitation. Sawyer takes half and wolfs it in two bites. Thanks. Uh... Stuff. Here, uh, I want you to have these, okay? Give you a few, uh, few sugar lumps. You awkwardly stuff them into your pocket. I just got these things of sugar and I'm like... And now I'm gonna have sugar all in my pockets and then it's just gonna be I'm gonna go wash it later and there's gonna be sugar all over my washing machine and then it's gonna jam and it's gonna be a mess. So he smiles, pleased with themselves. Hey, I was looking online yesterday and a lot of weapons in Verona Beach are getting chipped mm. lately. Maybe there's something about the dry summer that makes us so brittle. Uh maybe someone's doing it. What, chipping us on purpose? A serial chipper? I'm not sure what what the point would be. I hope they're not targeting students in particular. That'd be so creepy. So his eyes wander back to your plate where only crumbs remain. Wild cat growl erupts from under the table. Is there an animal loose in here? After a moment, you realize it's Sawyer's stomach. Sorry, geez. Even after you shared your sandwich with me, to be honest, I can't afford to eat that much. I had a good job for a while. I got f get free rent for my mum, but it's hard. How do people afford eating anyways? Is anyone rich? Restaurants are so expensive. I don't fucking know how I afford to eat soya. I wish I knew, but I, I just don't. They rip people off. Scones only cost like 10 cents of flour and 10 cents of butter. I'm in a business class and it seems that someone could disrupt the market easily. Cut out the middleman. Buy the ingredients yourself. You can make an app that tells you how to make a dish like a restaurant would. You'd save, cost, uh, you'd save costs by not paying a waiter or a hostess too. Boom. What do you think? 
You just invented oh. cooking. Oh yeah, cooking. That's what it's called. Ugh, this is all so dumb. I don't know, I hate business stuff. To be honest, I'm more into history class. This is taking it for easy credits, but everyone in the class is so competitive. Mm. I have to come up with a business idea for my semester project and this is all I got. Oh, excuse me. My next step would be documenting the process. Cooking, to use the technical term. But I don't know how to boil an egg. I tried once and I ended up with a black husk. I could teach you. That would be Whoa. amazing. Do a little research on egg boiling first, but then I'll hit you up for lessons. If I bring the ingredients, could we, does it, we think, do you think? You can do it. I believe in you. Sawyer so takes a breath and gathers their courage. Uh... Is it a date? Uh... Not really, I see you as a kid. You were a child in my eyes. And that is illegal. And, ew. Oh, well, that's fine. Cooking with a friend will be fun too. Educational, at least. Gotta get to history, but let me know when you're heading to the dunge. It isn't first aid, I'm a cracked blade, and I'm ready to fight again. Bye. See you soon. Bye. You head home. Sounds like to boil an egg, you have to use a lot of water. Like a whole potful. So that was my problem. You have a lot to learn. You bet. Thumbs up. Okay. Let's go to the dunge. The La Rosa dunge. Uh, where is... Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, this is where Ugh, the fucking music... The place reeks of cologne. Rowan, please. We're talking about the music right now. This is where the music fucking slaps, dude. The music in La Rosa is so good. I listen to this game soundtrack constantly. Like it is always in my Spotify rap for the like, I think what, past two years? Ow. It's been in my rap and with good reason. Hello. What are you doing? Who invited you? Who invited you? What are you doing? What are you doing? He's back with a vengeance. Go take your bone and go on the land room, please. Go on, Bip. Your bone. Ooh, bouquet of daisies. Racing game recipe. <gasps> Is that where we can have Flutterbug? Hell yeah. Potted succulent. Ripley, you forgot your bone. You forgot your bone. Ripley, not right now. I'm about to meet Pocket. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. This is what everybody wants. Welcome to the video game. Okay, see ya. Go on, Rip. Go. I gotta go. 
I gotta have a war with my dog. Hang on. Ripley, go! Close the door. Little shit knows how to open doors. Uh, anyways, find a set of bladed brass knuckles. It looks like some claws are missing. Engraving on the re uh, on the side that reads. Okay. At your touch, the metal begins to stretch and grow. Guys, watch you warily, but allows you to come closer. Find a phone number on his collar. You put it into your phone before he scampers off. Bye, pocket. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck. There was a uh, vault back there. I should get that. Suit. Yeah. Dude, I'm getting so many clothes right now. So can I put the laser asleep? Sure can. No, yeah, I know. I like La Rosa though, because there's a lot of, um, word I'm looking for. Ugh. Fancy drinks always look like an awful lot of effort. Uh, do you want cufflinks? Even though that's more for Isaac. Literal umbrellas will smoke or foam at, or at the very least so much ice, uh, ice shaking. It's because I don't really drink much, but I don't see the point. Uh, there isn't much of a point. We don't have to waste time at bars. Win-win. We have way better things to do anyway, like beatdowns. I was going to say each other, but I see that we're not on the same page. Got it. Definitely not on the same page. I need to, I don't know, here's an idea. Maybe not stand face first in the fucking laser. Wild uh, suggestion, but what's this? It's a vault. What's it got? A sun hat. Oh yeah. Uh, how do I? There we go. It's like, how do I get out of here again? Oh, 
Oh, steel. Glue! <laughs> oh, hey. Seven raises his eyebrows skeptically. <laughs> I didn't know you were so campy. It's like Cupid's nightmare in here. Uh, I guess we're dating or whatever, but this is still not really my style. You're my fave wielder, so we can chew wherever you want. Uh, I'll just hang out over here if that's okay. No judgment. Evan. Oh, fuck. You don't like my romantic gestures? Gestures? We just hung out, but I'll take it. Seven releases a long exhale as if he'd been holding his breath. You sit together quietly on one of the benches. I don't see that many stars here in Verona Beach anymore. Too much light pollution. When I was growing up, I loved stargazing at the constellations. We even had a little telescope. Uh, you like mythology? Both science and the myths, I guess. Yeah, giant balls of gas were also, uh, who were also heroes and creatures. I tracked my favorite constellation every night. Pale Dancer. Old goddess of death and victory. Uh. We moved to Seoul and I couldn't see constellations anymore. I watched music videos instead. You see the constellation now? Yeah, three main stars anyways. Look there, just over the chimney for a triangle. He points to you, uh, he points and you squint. Eventually you find the triangle of the stars he means. Still don't have a gift for you, I need to buy them. Uh, even this little rest has recharged my batteries, I think. Let's get back to it. Seven stands and stretches into his energy blade. You feel his warmth and you feel what you Crackle. Get, get, get. Ah, it's the hand. Ow! I forgot that those music notes fucking hurt. I am getting mick fucked up right now. Are we good? I'm the best. See that? Best. We. Ah, oh, seven. We're almost there at level five. Come on, man. Ooh, holy energy. Now I go, go, I go, go. I go, I go, go forward, real bad. It's my pool. What do you think? Am I more of a solid or a stripe? Solid. Is my workout, my new workout is effective, then I'll have to stick to it. What did you mean emotionally? One of the only people who knows the real me, you know? It's a new feeling. Smiles. <laughs> Taking some time to recharge our batteries. Close into weapon form, ready to return to the dunge. To the dunge. Ooh, 
McQueen. The chow. That's not what McQueen is in this. McQueen is something totally different in this. Travel guide. Uh, actually, we'll keep going with seven because I might. See how we go with this floor and maybe die. Who knows? Hey Seven, how do you feel about alcohol? Uh, uh for fun, I guess. Like either that's a thing people have sometimes. Guess we have better, uh, way better things to do, like being jealous or each other. But that's cool. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Starry night recipe. I am getting a lot of clothing recipes. to leave the dunge, please. We're gonna we're gonna get a lot of this. I hope you guys like the sound. Okay, we're good. Uh you sleep heavily and then this morning your eyelids feel sticky like they don't want to open. You remember today's your birthday, another year closer to death, at least. Uh, at least, I'm not alone. I got cute boys and cute girls that love me. Uh, you think about all the friends you've made recently and you can't help smiling as you get up. Find a package outside your door waiting for you. Inside is a birthday cake from Jesse. It seems to be freshly baked in just this morning. Uh, you're about to cut a slice when there's knocking at the door. You longingly set the cake aside and go Hi, to answer Josh. the door. Happy birthday! Hello! I, uh, brought a friend. I hope that's okay. Who is it? Hey, hey. Couldn't resist uh, coming by to see you. Oh, hey, girl, hey! What's up? What's, what's up? Uh, I thought we'd eat cake and give you a couple little, couple of little presents. Nothing too intense. Speak for yourself. I'm always special. Uh, it's tradition for the birthday girl to use a weapon, uh, use a weapon friend to cut the cake. You up for it, Sunder? I don't think we got Sunder as our birthday last time. I think we we had Valeria last time. Uh, sure. I won't have any. Watching my uh, diet. I'm happy. To, I'll, I'll, I'll help it. I'd be happy to help cut. Hmm. What do you think? I mean, we don't have to follow tradition. Hell yeah. I'm glad I sharpened up a bit this morning. Sunder feels cool and calm in your hands and you carefully slice the cake into even pieces together. Hmm, that's special birthday cake flavor. So vanilla, so sugar. Sure you don't want any, Sunder? So fresh and moist. Uh -huh. I'm gonna refrain from making that joke. Moving on. I'm sure I've been on this diet for so long it's not even a temptation. Uh, 
but it's good time to give Squish my little gift. Sunday has hands you a small box. Inside you find a small framed photo of him. Hell fucking yeah. I know this place is Jesse's, so I thought I'd give you something to make it yours. I love it. I don't have to say that, but I'm glad you did, of course. I hope you think of me when I when you see it. Sunday gives me a photo of him, right? And he's like, hope you think of me. Who else am I thinking of when I look at a photo of Sunder? Uh... Thank you, Jesse. Anyway, here I got your little something too. Phoenix cap. Just gives you an envelope. You find it. Uh, you find assembly instructions for a Phoenix cap. It's a kit that ha looked a little dorky anime, but it sounded useful for the dungeon. Practical. Yeah, you should be thankful I didn't go with socks or a whetstone. Oh, brave. Whetstones are really personal, man. I mean, I wouldn't mind letting Squish use one on me, but I wouldn't assume. Uh... Okay, okay, I get the message. Well, I'm glad I didn't get one. Price is averted. Well, Squish, you're another year older and wiser. Congrats. Glad you shared this birthday with us here in Verona uh -huh. Beach. It's been so much nicer here since you moved to town. The race is way more fun. Anyways, have an excellent day, beautiful. I hope to see yeah. you soon. Sunday gives you a lingering kiss on the cheek on the way out. You close the door behind them and you consider how to spend your day. To the dunge! Oh, fuck. Anyway, home, you find a few ingots of steel on your doorstep. They're heavy and cold, wrapped in ribbon. A an attached note reads, the squish. Carried inside. Uh, racing game. Potted succulent. Bucket. See further. Uh, exit shows a mini map. Revives you once. Oh. Uh, enemies get stunned when they damage you. Um. Where's the dress? That looked cute. That looks cute. No, maybe not with my hat though. Maybe. Uh, maybe not with the hat. I'll go back to the anime clothes. I think. So good. Uh, text messages. Hey, Seven. I have a big decision to make and I can't figure out what to do. I'm here at Paradise Lost. Hoping the cats will keep me calm. I'll be there. Alright. I'll be there in literally two minutes. I uh, uh, heard it's a special day today. It's uh, the exact middle of summer. Crazy, huh? I guess that means your trip's halfway over. I know you said not to send you things, so I didn't. But, uh... I guess it's also your birthday or something. My cat was missing for a while and just reappeared with this phone number in his mouth. I guess you found him? Thanks if so. He's really worried. Horrible. Text me and I'll let him out. He likes to roam. Let him out. Looks like he's headed to the park. Little killer. Um... Urgent, have you seen Crowley? Uh, only with you. He's gone. Really gone. I don't know what to do. I'll be right there. I am on my way. S. Hi, is this Squish? Sorry to bother you, uh, bother you, but I really need your help. I don't know who else to ask. I'm scared. Who is this? A worried weapon. A stranger. You can call me S, I guess. One of my friends has gone missing and nobody's even looking for her. Do you think the weapon kidnapper is killing people now? I hope not. Sad smiley, sad smiley. I think I know where they might have gone, but I really don't feel safe going there. Can you meet me? I'll explain more in person. Where? Meet me at the corner of uh, Mercu Mercutio and Mercutio and Atwood in the museum every night. See you there. Hope... Uh, I hope, for my friend's sake. 
That one's new. But okay. Just give me a second. Fun to find a familiar orange cat. Tail flicking, you sit on a bench nearby. His color reads, pocket. Remember me? Seems not to hear you when yawns. He then stands and stretches luxuriously, seemingly ignoring you. Pocket quickly becomes distracted and tenses up, looking at the pond next to you. Follow his gaze and see happy ducks enjoying the water. Or weather. Um, Pocket stares intently at the duck's mouth slowly falling open. You gonna pounce? Pocket licks his paw. It's clearly not a contact sport. Ducks perhaps feeling watched will puddle away further into the water. Pocket! Oh wow! Oh wow, Nat! 14 months? Hey Nat, what's up? Appreciate you, you're the best. Uh, Pocket looks at you expectantly, tail flickering. So, you like the dunge? Pocket extends his claws playfully. St your stintillating conversation is interrupted by someone approaching. Oh, a chance meeting, my favorite kind. She leans over and kisses you lightly, a smile on her lips. This must be your valiant protector against the evil ducks. Pocket blinks lazily in the sunlight, a stuffed her staring mm. up. Can I pet him? Uh, he doesn't like petting. Fair enough, everyone deserves to set their own boundaries, I guess. But I just took a walk to clear my head. Gotta get <laughs> back to work. Away And away from these ducks, you be careful yeah. around them. Yeah, of course I am. Exactly. Dude, Nat, have you just finished work? Uh, her kiss goodbye is prolonged and sweet in the afternoon sun. Uh, when it ends, you open your eyes and realize Pocket has slipped away. Yeah, I just got home. Hell yeah, dude. Time to chill the fuck out. Sit for a while longer, then head home. Uh, he made home safely. His claws looks healed, too. Uh, he's a good cat. Can't wait for my fucking weekend. Dude, rub it in. I gotta fucking work. It's my weekend on. He's too smart to be good. He has too many ideas and plans. I know it's I sound crazy, but never mind. Oh, looks like he's ready to go out again. Let him out. Also, Army came back inside. Never mind. Maybe next time. Uh, let's go meet S. Whoever that is. Oh, but seven. Oh, but S. But seven. But S. Oh, Valeria in the cat in pocket. Hang on, I got distracted. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, customers being real fucking annoying today. Dude, I had barely any customers today. We doubled our budget, but barely any customers. Like, make that make sense. As you approach, Valeria shushes you. Uh, she whispers softly in greeting. Like, I think in total we had like 47 customers now. We made two grand and had 47 customers. Hey, Squish. I thought I was going to paint out the vineyard today, but I saw your friend here sleeping so cute between the grapes. I had to change plans. You have to follow where fate leads, you know. Always. Pocket sits up, suddenly alert at the sound of your voice. Shh, nice kitty, sleepy kitty. My sketch is almost done. Ow. Don't move. Hey, Maya. Hey, kitty. Do you know that I was talking to Pocket, so you wanted to, like, visit? Um, we had more, more than 400 customers. Yeah, fuck that. Uh, Pocket comes over to rub his head on your leg. In the process, he walks all over Valeria's uh, paints. Uh. I mean, hey, watch where those paws uh. are going. Don't eat it. That stuff is poisonous. Here, let me help you. Pocket puffs up, not willing to let Valeria touch his paws. Uh, offer water to walk in. Pocket looks at you like you asked him to become a dog. Pocket walks away through the vineyard, leaving red and yellow spots in uh. his tracks. Well, as long as he walks it off, it should be okay. Thanks for trying to help. Cats, huh? They never d do what you tell them to. I guess I'm not so different, really. Yeah. Cats really don't tell you what to do. My aunt, I think you need more water, honey. I'll get you some water in a minute. Uh, and maybe I can rescue this sketch with more vineyard, uh, more of the vineyard imagery. 
She remembers goodbye and ret returns to her painting. That was so cute. Uh, we may as well go to seven now. May as well go along with the flow. Uh, you pet cats for a while with seven and he seems on edge. I get upset thinking about how sidekicks die in Chronosite and in that movie, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm just angry. Sidekicks are always sacrificing themselves. It's dumb. Uh, he would have been a way better hero. But if he took over for the uh, if he took over for the protagonist, that would make him the villain, right? Not necessarily. So maybe it's possible? Sungwoo says the name change wasn't his idea and our agent talked him into it. He even invited me to make a duo with him. Lucky seven. I don't know if he means it. Meanwhile, I've been thinking about going solo without Sungwoo. It'd Ugh. be tough, but I'm uh, if I'm ever going to take the risk and go solo, now is probably my best chance. But if that fails, I could lose everything I've worked so hard for. Sungwoo is the more popular one, so a duo would be more guaranteed to succeed. Seven releases a long, unsteady breath. Uh. My thoughts keep going like this, around and around. How can I make a decision like this? Uh, why did you get into showbiz? Well, it was sort of an accident. Sung Woo was discovered by a talent scout at first. Uh, and he dragged me into it because we used to dance together to music videos for fun. Um, so I'm only in Blade Generation because of him. Maybe I'm being ungrateful. Is there anything else I should consider in my decision? What do you really want? I guess I want to be really good at something, and I want someone to love. Uh, is there anything else I should consider? Mm -hmm. Do you trust him? I trust him, but I don't trust our agent. Um, and Sungwoo can be impressionable. Is there anything else? Um, if it was me, if it were you, what would you do? Please be honest. Go solo. I feel like this is an important decision. Seven is listening carefully. <laughs> Definitely solo. Can't believe that his group's name is Blade Generation. Cringe. I say this fully knowing that BTS's original name is Bulletproof Boy Scouts. Also cringe. Was it really? What? Seven erupts in laughter like a weight suddenly lifted from him. Well, there goes my last excuse of cowardice. If you guys should do it, then I probably should. Feels good to think about. I've been a sidekick for so long. As much as I worry about my anxieties, maybe, th maybe this is my turning point. Uh, and now it's beyond the scene, which is arguably worse. Oh. Beyond the scene? Behind the scenes, it's so much better, but... I'll be honest, I didn't know that BTS actually just had, like, a longer variation of their name. I just honestly just thought they went with, hey, our name's BTS, just cause. Not that it had an actual meaning. Wild. Wait till you he hear the best part. I'm listening. BTS is a shortened version of their Korean name. Uh-huh. Uh, the beginning of a new age, Sung is not going to like it, but he doesn't have to. This is my life. Our life, maybe? Uh, they remember RM? You'll never guess what his original stage name was. Oh boy. Yeah? Actually, I want to hear your guess before I tell you. Does it have to- is it like... Was it like BTS or was it like... RM, is that like, it's obviously a shortened version, but like, nah, dude, you're gonna have to tell me. I don't do K-pop or whatever it is. RM used to stand for, was RM like, <laughs> room manager or fucking rap monster? Rap monster. Chat, you see that? There goes my last faith in humanity. It's fucking gone. It actually makes me look forward to going on tour. 
Surprise! Did I hear something about a tour? Does that mean you've made a decision? Seven sits up straight as someone familiar looking approaches your table. I realize you've seen his face on Blade Generation what? posters. Sungwoo, what? How did you know I was here? Sungwoo glances at Seven's oh. phone. Right, our agent's tracking device. Well, now that you're here. Uh, Sungwoo, this is Squish, the wielder I've been talking about. Squish, Sungwoo. Sungwoo shrugs. Hey. Nice to meet you, Squish, but this isn't about you, right? Uh, I heard he cut up some apples for you, so I guess it's serious. As long as you help Seven make the right decision, then we're on the same side. Uh. Yeah, so I thought about it from every angle. It's only one way everything made sense. I have to go my own way. I'll have to try it, uh -huh. or I'll regret it. Guess I knew this would happen sooner or later. I was holding you back. Sungwoo takes a deep breath. Everyone in Blade Generation will miss you, but I hope we can still hang out. <laughs> going to be your biggest fan, you watch. Just promise we can we can still watch stupid movies together. Yeah, yeah I hope so. Sungwoo rushes Seven and takes him into a bear hug. Seven wipes his eyes discreetly. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez, Rick. I always forget how strong you are. I can't breathe, hmm. man. Uh, sorry, bro. Yesterday was arm day at the gym. So I guess I need to figure out my brand. Maya, what are you doing at my feet? What are you doing, Miss Maya? Uh, soon, soon. For now, let's celebrate and let's get out of here before anyone recognizes us. Seven smiles and you feel yourself smiling back without realizing you're doing it. Uh, why does Sungwoo look like he'd get caught as part of a human trafficking ring? Uh, I imagine Sungwoo would run it. 100%. Also, hey, Dunk, how you doing? What's up? Uh, you spend the evening discussing logistics. Eventually, you head home. Also, um, Nat, we had our birthday. You missed it. Uh, Sunder was at our birthday. Sunder gave us a picture of himself holding a rose. I fucking love it. Uh, what is... Okay, we're good. Hey, I know it's a little silly, but I miss you already. I'll hate it here without you. Let's hang out again soon. I love you! See you at the dunge. I hope. Fucking of course he did. Narcissistic bitch. Hey, I love that narcissistic bitch, okay? He's amazing. He's a bitch, but he's amazing. You wander around until you find the corner of Makusho and Atwood. Nobody's here. So someone walks out of the shadows, clearing their throat. Hi. Um, it's you, right? Hi. Thanks for coming. Tell me Boss, everything. An AI researcher at the university has been gone for over a week now. They're really strong, way stronger than anyone I've ever known. But a new wing opened under the university near their lab. And I think it's a dungeon. Maybe the weapon kidnapper surprised them or somehow imprisoned them. My texts to them aren't even being shown as red anymore. I guess there's no signal down there. Either way, uh, can you make sure she's okay? I wish she'd come back and teach her classes. I'm supposed to be their assistant, not do their whole job for them. I think, probably. Uh, what, who gave you my um, number? Um. I guess I might as well tell you. I'm Jesse's fiance. Emily? Is that her name? I could have left a note at your apartment Sarah. since I used to go there all the time. Fuck, what's. But I thought that'd be creepy. Why do I think her name was Emily? If it has S. Is it her name like Sarah? Why did I think it was like Emily? Where did I pull that from? Uh, it's you nice too. to meet you. I thought acting like a secret agent would make things easier somehow, but it didn't. Sorry. Sorry I missed you at the barbecue. The parties are a little overwhelming for me. Me fucking too. Call me Samantha. Samantha! I should get back before Jesse gets worried. Hopefully this can get resolved soon. I can't sleep because I'm worrying so much. And how am I supposed to plan a wedding when I'm exhausted and overworked? Dude, new boyfriend dungeon DLC. We're planning Samantha and Jesse's wedding. Never mind. That's not your problem. So, um, 
Let me know if you find anything. Bye. I mean night. The game's glitched. <laughs> and I can't see the names of some of the stuff. That's fine. That's okay. What are you doing, Maya? Are you just standing looking all horrified and shit? Uh oh hey guys. Why is Sunder talking to Sawyer? Wait. Uh what? You're saying it's your uh -huh. first time? No, well I mean sort of. I don't know. I just I don't want to mess things up. It's no sense wasting time. They probably can't read huh. your mind. Ask them if they want to, whenever you want to. But how? Like that. Just say, hey, do you want me? Um... What are they talking? What are they talking about? Sunder, it's not the same as asking you if someone wants a coffee. Yeah, well, you can throw in a flourish. Like, I, I like to use a rose. Uh... And not having a shirt on helps. Like so, like so, sometimes a hello will do the trick. Oh. Smash. What? Oh my gosh, no, thank you. I mean, thank you for help trying to help. This has been... Squish, how long have you been there? Never mind, don't answer that. Uh, I, uh, I wasn't talking about you and me, it was a hypothetical question. Is that okay? Nah. The cartoon man is attractive, okay? I can't help it. <laughs> I can't. I can't help it. Am I wrong? No. No big deal. Definitely. Uh, I'm just chilling out here too. Do do do. Uh, I'm just gonna like forget whatever hey. I heard just now. Hey, this world could use more openness and communication, don't you mm. think? You're digging your own grave, you are. You know what? I'll fucking bury myself in that grave. I don't care. So it's, like, it's under's hot. Smash. Maya, did the door just close itself? Did Liam, did you just close the door? Did you just close the door? Okay, the door just closed itself then. Maya and I were looking at it very confused. Uh, sure, but I don't want to, like, be sexually, um, aggressive or make anyone uncomfortable. Different scores for different swords. Each person has their own preferences. Anyhow. Mm -hmm. Exactly. For example, if I engage my abs versus flex or scoop, it, it attracts a different um... type. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna, uh, go. But Jeez. thanks. You pay me back later. I've got to get back to work anyway. Good seeing you, Squish. <laughs> Nat, don't ask Liam that question. He doesn't need to answer that question. Sawyer flees the scene and Sunder winks as he saunters away. Fuck, Liam's loading up Twitch. Fuck. Shit. Why do I have a date with Eric? Why do I have a date with Eric? Fuck off, Eric. I'm going to see Rowan. I'm going to help him find his bird. Good day. Find Rowan pacing back and forth, distressed. Was it a demon, perhaps, or a vengeful spirit? This has never happened before. Maybe I drove him away. I have been oh. looked everywhere. I've set at, set out his favorite snacks. It's been two days and no sign. Uh, take a deep breath. I'm trying, believe me. But what if he's actually really gone? Uh, I've just lost Alice. I can't lose him too. Be more efficient to split up and look, but I don't want to be alone right now. I don't want to be alone ever. Really, that's why I got the familiar in the first place. Where should we start? Uh, the mountain? Yes. Yeah, then we'll have a good view of town and our voices will carry further too. Uh, we have no time to waste. Check out the mountainside calling for Crowley. Only breeze blows in response. I just like that I see in the corner of my eye Liam going, oh, the fuck boy? <laughs> Liam, I love you. You're great. Uh, Rowan grits their teeth, clearly a gathering resolve. Uh, if he really is dead, then I hope he's, it was swift and painful. Uh, and painful. Fuck. 
Oh, I'm in painless. I can't read. Fuck. Swift and painless. He's not dead. <sighs> Say things will be okay, but you don't know that. You don't know anything. <laughs> shut up, Nat. <laughs> you shut the fuck up right now. <laughs> shut up, Liam. How do I ban two VIPs from my stream really quick? Hang on a minute. Uh, I prefer to live in reality, not daydream squish. I wish you would too. I just, uh, let's keep looking, okay? They avert their eyes from you and walk towards the beach. You, you follow, unsure of what to say. There's no sign of the raven. Seagulls play in the winds over the ocean. Crowley, you idiot, where are you? When I first bound Crowley to me as my familiar, he was just a fluffy little chick. Uh, I knew I'd probably outlive him, but I thought I'd have more time. It's only been six years. Uh, don't give up yet. I'm not. I'm just not sure what else to do. Never mind. Anyway, I tried, but he's gone. Either on a, another plane or doesn't want to answer. Rowan wipes her eyes, clearing their throat as dusk gives away to night. Uh, a familiar woman approaches from down the beach, looking mm. worried. Hey, Squish. Rowan, everything okay between you both? I heard some shouting. Everything's under control, Mandy. Squish is just helping me look for Crowley. Oh, your familiar's gone missing? That doesn't sound like him. I know, he's been acting strange for a few days now. Sorry, I haven't seen or heard anything. I'll let you know if uh I'll let you know if I do. Uh you're a bird watcher? Mm -hmm. Of a sort. I'll ask around at the club. I'll see you both later, I hope. She tracks off down the beach thoughtfully. Rom releases a long breath as a sigh. Sorry I've been snappish. Between that and threatening you, my temper is getting the better of me. Let's just take a break a, a break. A break, fuck's sake. A break and regroup at home. T will help us think. Sure. Shut up, Nat. Sorry, what the fuck? <laughs> Getting bullied. Rowan nods, scanning the skies for one last time before turning homeward. Walk back home to the mansion in an awkward silence. Rowan closes the door behind you and hesitates, brow furrowed. Mm -hmm. Do you smell that? Like it's tea, uh, it's like tea is brewing already. What in the name of all goddesses are you doing here? We've been looking everywhere for you. Raven looks away, Never coughing. More. Crowley flutters up under Rowan's shoulder and starts uh, st starts softly preening their hair. Oh, well, once was enough. I'm not forgiving you that easily. I was very upset. Rowan turns to you. They still seem emotional, but you notice their shoulders are more relaxed than before. Thanks for your help today. Squish, without you, it truly would have been a nightmare. Uh, mind if we postpone our tea? I need to give this irresponsible bird a thorough thrashing. Uh, I'll see you in the dunge. Rowan gives you a, a slight smile, the first you've seen them manage all day. Touches their fingertips to their lips, then in the air, in farewell. Um, you knew I was going to bully you as soon as I came to the stream? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Seems Crowley was a little jealous of you, maybe insecure too. He's not really used to me having friends, or potential lovers for that matter. On the plus side, he's bonded with good old Roosevelt. Their little birdie, uh, their little teddy, and a little birdie. I was right the first time. Uh, I'm sorry for all the fuss, Crowley is sorry too. You okay? I appreciate you asking though, thanks. You're welcome. Yay. Oh, we should probably go see what Eric wants. Fuck. <coughs> you find Eric reading a book oh, behind the counter. He brightens as you approach, carefully closing. It's closer. so good to see you. Fuck off. Really? You look great. Fit. The dunge must be giving you a good workout. I wish I never came here. I regret my decisions. Eric smiles, though his eyes seem cold and distant. Mm. Strictly business, hmm? I was just getting to that. Well, I thought you might want to know what I discovered about the dungeons in my research. Did you know they manifest your fears? Uh, the monsters actually came from inside you? Really? Yeah. I wish we could date Eric then. When he confesses his love, we dump him in a way that will emotionally scar him for the rest of his life so he can never love again. <laughs> that is very specific I agree don't have to be all huffy about it I was thinking since the dungeons are all about your fears then couldn't we just like ignore them and then go away seems like it'd be safer too 
but even if you want to fight the fight uh, fight the monsters the fact the fact that it's your fears suggests you have control mm. i think we could even speed run the dungeons if we want to um skip straight to the bottom fight the boss monster immediately i figured out how but eric pauses and looks you in the eye with a mischievous grin so this would be a trade how about i'll tell you about my speed run strat for the low low price of one kiss on the cheek I don't need your speedrun shit. I watched Dream once. That's a terrible joke, Maddie. Uh, oh, fine. Have it a smile. Just one nice, pretty smile. Oh, thanks. There it goes. Silent, the warmth leaving Ugh. his face. Some people are just so selfish. They get good looks, attention, offers of knowledge. And then they can't even share the tiniest part of their happiness. Shape slips silently into view, graceful as water. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I forgot you existed. I lolled. You know what? I'm glad. Wait. Hope you agree that I sent uh, that and then the, my next immediate message was a fucking pokey catch. You know what? Yeah, you're right. You just went from like one level to another and it was great. It was very nice. I like the sudden change. Smash? Are you saying you would smash this fucking guy? And I'm the one that gets judged for saying that I'd smash Sunder. I feel like this isn't entirely fair. Stranger stares at you with an intensity bordering on excitement. Eric hesitates before waving his hand in a huffy sigh. No, no not Nenny. Eh, 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 fuck me. <laughs> Enemy! Turn to your sheath. Stranger slips away with a rustle of silk. Since you apparently know anything, you won't need to ask any questions about him. Good day. Uh, Eric pointedly reopens his book and ignores you until you leave. I should have just never rocked up. There's a thought. Sawyer and Pocket. Find Sawyer enjoying the afternoon sunshine. Pocket crouches behind them. Such a peaceful, lovely day. And at least three days before, I have to. Uh, I have to turn in any. Liam, I think I'm having a stroke. Oh. I can't fucking read, dude. And at least three days left before I have to turn in any other papers. Pocket tiptoes closer. Is mm. twitching. Maybe I should just take a nap or text Squish. That'd be too needy. Pocket crouches down, preparing to pounce. Cool. Pocket leaps and bats at Sawyer's ear, making them jump in a panic. Uh, at this point, just hire me, Liam, and Storm to voice characters. Liam, can you voice Pocket for me? Can you voice Pocket? Pocket. Do you know? Do you know who Pocket is? Yeah. You have a really good cat impression. Uh, meow. <laughs> Wait, hiya, Maya. Fuck, where'd she go? Maya, come here. I know you're sitting under Liam's legs, but I need you right now. She only ever meows when she's like, when someone is standing near the, her food bowl or holding ham. She screams for ham. Uh, Pocket? I thought we were friends. Is that what friends do? Pocket starts innocently cleaning his face. So he sighs and then notices you, making them smile. Oh, hey, Squish, I was just hanging out with my buddy Pocket. But I guess cat buddies uh, hit each other? At least his claws went out, I guess. I should find lunch before I get back to studying. What do you say, Pocket? You want to go find me some free samples at the cat cafe? Pocket responds with a pair. Have a good day, Squish. See you later, I hope. Bye-bye. <laughs> They wander off in search of a snack. La 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 la. 
Okay, let's actually play the dungeon uh, side of the game. Mayhaps. Uh, should do some stuff with Jonah, actually. Kind of forgot about all the other parts of the story in this game. You know, like, everyone else's. I don't know about you, but I feel a little sleepy. Uh, I am, in fact, wide awake, though. say wide awake a wide awake like I wasn't yawning maybe five minutes ago to buy Seven's fucking gifts, dude. So Seven likes me. laser maybe ow I wonder how much that's worth well uh I got yeah. about ten dollars from that sure let's have a drink one or two might loosen me up a little I know anything about most of these fancy alcohols though uh, do I have anything you would like? Um... How do you feel about truffles? Oh, you like them. Cool. It's a shame mostly giant brands and bars these days were at least, uh, days in the last hundred <laughs> years. Always like the idea of monks up in monasteries, uh, making their own special mixes and brews. I'll mix you something. Please do. He put together a few liquids behind the bar and Jonah tastes it and raises his <laughs> eyebrows. Not bad, not bad. Thank you. It doesn't taste like a drink a monk would make, though. No offense. Maybe someday I'll go up in the monastery in Ireland and taste their special view. Whiskey, whatever. Probably just be disappointed, but at least I'll get a good view from mm. their mountain. Hope it's up on a mountain at least. I guess this trip uh, will need more planning than I thought. Mm. I'll uh, worry about that later. The here and now has plenty to keep me occupied. Fuck, man, I can't read. I am slowly deteriorating on the ability to read. Time for Maddie. It may be. I mightn't be able to dunge for very long. Or maybe you start your time for Maddie? Dude, fucking maybe if you want to. I can. I don't have to read much in that.
would have to go to bed pretty soon after we would get on. Yeah, true. So would I. I don't have to get up early in the morning, but like... I still have to get up. <laughs> Jonah flops down onto a VIP couch, exhaling slowly. Uh, seems like a normal couch to me. What makes someone very important anyway? Uh, money? Yeah. yeah, I guess people buy their way into this planet kind of place, don't they? Gross. Maybe what matters is that some people like to exclude other people. Uh, good. By the way, you're very important to me, hey? Thanks. Smile softly and you feel his hand become a handle under your touch, ready to re uh, return. Wake up at like nine, but I've been sleeping like shit lately and my body would try and force itself awake like every 20 minutes after five. Yeah, that's fair enough. And it'd be a cool night tonight as well, so like, bonus. What do you mean I can't leave the dungeon? Fucking damn it. I think I can't leave until like floor six or seven. Wait, I didn't realize that that was immediately a uh, relaxing room. I respect people who can play pool well. It's amazing to me that some people can calculate so many angles so precise precisely just in their heads. I mean, I didn't hate math in high school, but that was mostly a, because of Mr. Numbers, I think. Mr. Numbers? Well, that was our nickname for our math teacher. He was a giant goofball, but he sure loved math. Sometimes is, uh, and when someone is really excited about something, it's contagious, you know? Kinda wish I'd met a math teacher like him earlier and younger as a kid. Um, as younger when I was a kid. I don't be a scientist anyway, but no way to know, I guess. Life goes on but for better and for worse, but if you want, you can calculate the arc of my swing. Uh, it won't help me do more damage, but no harm done either. <laughs> Both know your angles, though. They're all acute. <laughs> you know, Liam, sometimes I'm glad you don't flirt with me like that because I would violently vomit just a little bit. He has my stream open, but he's also watching car videos. Hi, honey. <laughs> How you doing? Love you. <laughs> Yay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Liam, you could be IRL Jonah, but you're not ready for that conversation. I feel like Liam... Well, I mean, I feel like I'm confused from that conversation. How could Liam be IRL Jonah? Cute surfer guy, or...? Where are we getting at with this? You're not ready for that conversation, Maddie. Oh. Oh, fuck. Hang on. No. Yeah. Liam could be IRL Jonah, but you're not ready for that conversation. Dude, my bad. Can't read. I'm not ready for any conversation. Dude, maybe I should have just cancelled the stream and played fucking Spyro tonight. Because my brain is not good. Where am I? There's pocket. There's pocket. Mario looks like he's gonna commit uh, war crimes and forcibly make him his accomplice. Yeah. Yes, he does. That's just Tokenomaru, though. Like, he's all about the war crimes. I'm 
Who's gonna gaslight you about his war crimes? Togedemaru is going to gaslight, gatekeep, and girl boss the fuck out of you. Absolutely. What's up, Jonah? Squish, sorry, but can you help me out with something? Maybe. What is it? Found a potentially perfect job, but I feel weird about it. It's at night at, at the lighthouse. I'm a little nervous. Can you come with me, please? Thank you. See you there. Uh, okay, letting Pocket out again. We live near the Paradise Lost Cafe, so probably look around there if you want to find him. And he'll manipulate manslaughter and mansplain. Oh, the worst kind. The absolute worst possible kind that you want. Less than a minute since last auto save. That's fine, game. That's cool. Hey, I can't read, so I'm gonna stop streaming. <laughs> I'm going to try and find the ability to read. Don't know where it is, but... I'm going to go look for that. 